Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cine Cool, and this is Gems of Boy. Hey, I have your weekly preview for the week of January 16th, 2023. So let's go with the uh, Soul Forge recommendations, the world event, um, Lunar Revel holiday event, uh, event key drop table, mm, what else? Um, yeah, that kind of stuff. Campaign, uh, all that. So <clears throat> let's get into it right now with the Soul Forge. It's what we always do first. See if I can recommend any mythics to you. Arc Proxy Avendra. I feel like we've seen her recently. Mithrilion. Pan. And Sycorax. So this one's pretty easy. Um, Arc Proxy Avendra is the, the highest recommendation. Uh, borderline top 10. Probably a top 10. So I would recommend it. 26 purple, yellow, brown, Zolkari, Divine Elf. Convert all yellow gems to Uber Doom Skulls. Curse, web, and poison the strongest enemy. Uh, conjure an Uber Doom Storm when an enemy dies. Reduce damage from spells by 25%. Does lots of stuff. Does unique things. It's good. So craft it if you don't get it. Next, I would say Sycorax, who is one of my favorites, but not a top 10, but maybe a top 20. Especially recently with things that have come into the game where, you know, like Empress, um, uh, all kinds of stuff. Like, it's been good. Psycho Mega Missy. Um, it's like getting better and better. So, it's never been a top 10, but it's one of my favorites, and it's probably a top 20. So, definitely a recommendation for me, but go get Arc Proxy Avenger first. 25 green, blue, brown, Blackhawk, Elemental Mystic. Double a chosen color gem on the board, then create three more gems of that color. Give life to all allies of that color. So it's like a troll, except for it gives life, and you can get your stats all the way up to 1,000. Um, the cool thing I like about it is you can pair it with other troops like Mistralis and Megavore and whatever. Things that do something on 4 or 5 gem match. Um, while you're building up your life, you can try for those 4 or 5 gem match things. So that'd be number two. Mithrilion's probably number three. He's a solid mythic, but nothing too great to write home about. Uh, 24 green, blue, red, Kazeal Construct. Explode a 3x3 three three block. Gain 59 armor. Barrier a random ally for every skull destroyed. Reflect 75% of skull damage. Reduce damage from spells by 50%. So that's a mythic right there. It's doing a bunch of stuff. So above average mythic. Um, I put it with Glaceon and King Bud Bloodhammer, and it works pretty good. Pan is last this week. Uh, just one of those does damage mythics. 24, yellow, green, brown, Pan's Veil, Wild Folk Beast. Deal damage to three random enemies and knock them to the back. And nothing else really except for Impervious. So, not doing enough. Alright, what's uh, the legendaries? Ooh, Web Spinner's good. It just got a buff, too. Got five to all stats from that pet that we recently got. Um, Gorgatha's good as well. Artemon, not as good. Glaceon, good. Wow, lots of good legendaries. Uh, Web Spinner's number one. Um, borderline, whether you should craft it or not, I would say, you know, it's really close. So, if you have Arc Proxy Avendra... Or you don't have enough diamonds to craft our Proxy Avendra, you might want to grab Web Spinner if you don't have it. Um, which is the Zalkari. Isn't that weird? We didn't we just have Zalkari. Um, Web Spinner. Hold on a second. Web Spinner. Zalkari again. Like, we just had a Zalkari week. People were probably throwing event keys for these troops, and now they're here in the Soul Forge. Kind of annoying. This game always surprises me with the ways it, it it annoys us um web spinner 16 green blue zalkari daemon deal damage to all enemies and poison them create nine green gems deal triple skull damage to poisoned and webbed enemies inflict web when doing skull damage and it does it in the correct order to where it will do triple skull damage every time so it does lots of stuff for a legendary it's a top five it's a top 10 for sure it's possibly a top five. Gorgatha, good as well. Glaceon, good as well. Um, which one's better, though, Gorgatha or Glaceon? I probably use Gla uh, Gorgatha a little bit more these days, but Glaceon I used more back in the day, so they're pretty close. They might be tied. 
but uh, I'll go with Gorgatha. 15 um, brown, yellow, Kaziel, Damon. Explode a bunch of gems and cleanse myself. Reduce damage from skulls by 75%. That's high. Daemonic Pack, 25% chance to summon an ancient horror on death. So it's pretty good. It's durable. It's a mana generator. It's a tank. It's nice. All right, then we have Glaceon, who goes really well with Bloodhammer or Mithrilion. But that's about it, really. He goes in one specific team with either Mithrilion or Bloodhammer and doesn't do really anything else. But he's really good. He's still good. 20 brown, purple, Draxum, Daemon, Monster. Transform yellow gems to blue and transform red gems to Doom Skulls. Freeze the strongest enemy. And it has ice armor. 65%. Um, so yellow to blue, red to Doom Skull, and something else, <clears throat> and it has 65% skull reduction. Skull mitigation, not medication. Um, yeah, it's really good. It's probably top 10. You have like three top 10 legendaries in the Soul Forge, so go wild if you want to. Um, and who was last here? There's one more, right? And it was Artema, who's the loser this week. 15 brown, yellow, Divinion Field, Centaur, Exploder Road, deal damage to the two weakest enemies, boosted by allies, Centaurs. 40% chance to dodge Skull damage. 50% chance to ignore armor and with Skull damage. Uh, not bad, but nothing you want to craft. Weapons! Got anything here? Inferno Vulge, Staff of Otherworlds, these are things you're going to use in the world event. By the way, I have a team video for the world event that I put out extra early this week, just seeing what would happen. And, you know, based on what happens, I'll do it again or I won't. That's how we're doing things on the channel these days. I'm going to pick my next class on EverQuest based on the views. I'm going to do things like this, like behind the scenes, little tiny things. I stay up all night. I put out a video a little bit earlier. If it gets more views, I'll keep doing that. If it doesn't, I'll, I'm not going to do it. Not going to do it. Not going to do it. Staff of the other worlds, though, I'm using that quite a bit in the um, world event today. So, I don't know. Do you want to invest 300 diamonds in just a weapon for one week? That's up to you. Infernal Vulge is another decent one. Other than that, there's really nothing. Those are just two weapons that you would use during a week for a restriction. Or for uh, kingdom level and power type of deal. Or for collection purposes. Nothing that you can't leave this week without, like a rope dart. Alright, so that's the Soul Forge. What's next? Let's go check out the world event, the Elder God. Search for the Elder God and its disciples in Karakoth. Hopefully this will please the kobolds. Summoning stones will help us call the god. Defeat enemies and gather offerings and summoning stones. Oh, well, I wish I could call the god. Um, we got metal. Skull and spell. Most of the time, you're going to want to do spell. If you want to be a, a contrarian, a, a different person, a, a funny guy, you can do skulls. Um, so yeah, uh, skull and spell, do spell. Overview, I read the lore. I got a scoring video, too. I put that out early, too. I'm going to be looking at that, too. If it doesn't, you know, I won't do it. I won't do it. Rewards, I got to collect those. Get your tokens. Got an Orb of Clans. Dragon Badge. Shop, I bought up to four, but that's because I had to make a video before anybody else had done anything in the event at all. So don't go based on what I buy up to. You probably want to just buy up to, like, two or three. And yeah, this is an event where if you paid to win, you probably have a decent uh, troop for it. And if you didn't, you might not. Kind of sucks. Recently, they've been doing like Empress and the Elder Dragon and stuff that's pay to win that you actually can use right now. And it's kind of annoying. I wish they wouldn't do that kind of stuff and, you know, give players an advantage for spending money. They didn't used to do that, but now they're doing it these days. Anyway, that's World Event and Soul Forge. So what is next? Um, I guess we... I don't know. Let's wrap back around. Start over. All right, Eldritch Engagements. New Epic Troop Eldritch Disciple. Get this troop with glory from the rewards tab of the shop. Lunar Revel. Play the new holiday event and earn currency for the holiday store. Unlock a new legendary troop, a new pet, and even some new armor. The Elder God, experience a new world event with your guildmates. Play world event battles every day to unlock rewards. Kingdom Pass for 20 more days. 
That's why you can give this the big middle finger, because that's why we're not having a vault event, because they don't know how to, you know, code or program or be de developers, so they don't know how to do a vault event during a kingdom pass. So give that the big middle finger as you go by it. Now, Dragon's Totem, the campaign has started, new rewards every week, don't miss out. There's a guy on the forums, like, making fun of everybody complaining. It's kind of funny. Week of Mystics, all Mystics gain 10% of their skills. Week of Daemons, all Daemons gain 10% of their skills. Bonus Souls, use the Eldritch Disciple in PvP and Explore to gain 40 souls. Alright, Glory Shop time. I forgot to get the new troop before I made my uh, world my world event video, uh, video, but I don't think it's going to matter too much. Let's see. 13 Red Purple Karakoth Daemon Mystic. Create 5 Purple Dragon Gems boosted by ally and enemy daemons. So yeah, I don't think... I mean, it might, might be okay, but I don't think it's like a deal breaker. It's not going to like... Nobody's going to use that on every single team ever. Um, I think there's... Like the Eldritch Minion, it starts empowered. And then like... Yeah, I don't think I missed out on anything too much here. Uh, but I need to buy up to Mythic. And we're also getting a stone as we get this Glory Shop troop. That's why you save up your glory. So you can um, get stones and fully trade things. So this is a red-purple stone. We get two per. Let's go see what we can fully trade. Alright, so red-purple. All colors. Base rarity. <clears throat> Alright, so... Is there anything good here that we can fully trade? Infernus uh, burns all enemies on 4 or 5 gem match. Ishtara has that divine roar. Obsidius has Earthquake. Used to be very important, but not so much anymore. Um, I completely forgot about Nipple Fobs. Even though he does nothing, I just forgot about him. That's all I wanted to say. I forgot about Nipple Fobs. Um, Voice of Orpheus. Cleanse all allies when matching yellow gems. Um, Carmina does nothing. Captain Saltclaw does nothing. Carnex. Intrigit. Intrigit has that, uh... Curse and burn a random enemy and match of four or more gems. Not super important, but it's there. Queen Titania has a fairy fire a random enemy and four or five gem match. Um, Umber Wolf has that create a dark storm at the start of every turn, so it's like always a purple storm whenever you use him. Let's see. Fist of Zorn is empowered converter. Anything else? This seems like not a very good stone, honestly. Except for the empowered converters that I'm seeing. Other than the empowered converters, doesn't seem like super duper important. There's no like super awesome mythics that have a really awesome trait that you need to use a stone on. So, yeah, not super important, but I did point out a few to you there. Alright, and we have an event key drop table called Karakoth. Let's go see uh, what we can... Uh, recommend out of that if anything so base rarity we need karakoth so if you're going to use event keys this is what you could get and only what you could get and that's why you save up event keys so you can target down certain things instead of having every single mythic in the drop table you have just the ones from this kingdom if you use event keys all right Dreth death rock Draylic was kind of ho-hum you know Kind of re of a reverse champion of Anu or something. Bashtag on. Curses. I'm using him a little bit right now, but uh, can't get Zulgoth. Medea is just okay. Nothing too great. Mm. Draxius, an empowered skull troop, like uh, kind of like Fist of Zorn. Eldritch Minion, empowered converter for purple. Uh, you know, Wall of Tentacles is okay super, super early in the game. Sacrificial Priest is a soul farming troop, but don't let that, um, you know, sway you to use event keys. Um, you would need Ferris Ra, too, before you could do anything. And you might as well do Vault Event if they would ever put one out. But, yeah, that event key drop table is pretty dookie. I would not throw event keys. Keep saving them up for Iron Hawk or High King Iron Gut or Rachnian Weaver or Zolkari. Don't throw them this week. Alright, what else is going on right now? Today we got the campaign, right? We got the world event. Um, we got the Lunar Revel. I'll make a team for you. And uh, I'll make a couple teams for you. For Lunar Revel. 
Just in one second. Um, so yeah. Today you'd be doing your campaign, your world event, Lunar Revel. Um, Faction Assault tomorrow I think is Durgaroth. I'll make a video for that. Wednesday we got this new pet. It's like a mini uh, moon rabbit kind of looking. Um, Thursday we got Sorcerer, which is not a good class. And then this weekend I think it's Raids. Pretty sure it's Raids. I always forget, but I think so. So that's what's going on this week. Um, but yeah, Lunar Revel is probably the most important thing. So let's make some teams. All right, it's red. Red is the restriction here. So we got the overview. Use red troops to fight event battles. Each event battle earns fortune. Spend fortune in the event shop to purchase Tuzi, Tuzi's little sis, and more. So it's exactly like the Crinklemus. It's exactly like uh, the one we had before that for Halloween. They're going to do that for and every time a holiday, any kind of holiday comes around. They'll probably do it for freaking Valentine's Day. I'm surprised they didn't do it for Martin Luther King Day today. Probably do it for Tree Day. They'll probably do it for Grass Day. 420, you know. I don't know. Um, so you get like three battles a day. You could buy more. You should probably buy the 50 gem one. You got a one golden holiday battle, which just gives you a little bit of extra points. Nothing too special there. But yeah, three battles a day. You can buy more battles with gems. And you can buy stuff with the... You do the battles, which I just do the highest level. I don't think there's any reason not to. And then you go and buy stuff with the fortune that you get from doing the battles. So we got uh, Tuzi. Who is uh, legendary. 14 red, green, Shintang, Wild Folk, Mystic. Give life to all allies, then create 9 yellow gems boosted by enchanted allies. Hopefully she doesn't somehow bug the game and get people banned. But I doubt it because it's not giving any kind of resource. So... It doesn't sound very good. Uh, we got the Crimson Armor. That looks pretty cool. Look at that. It's pretty sexy. Some sexy armor right there. Does nothing, just cosmetic. That's the type of stuff they should sell. Instead of Elder Dragon and Empress, they should sell the Crimson Armor for real money. And pets like this, like Toozy. Why wouldn't they just sell cute pets and cool-looking armor? Instead, they sell... Empress, who's a broken troop that gives tons of stats to last slot. And they sell uh, Elder Dragon, who you can use right now in the world event, only if you paid for it. Toozy's Lil Sis. So it gives skill points to Toozy. Then we got the golden Toozy Lil Sis behind this one. You have to buy like a certain amount of these. And then the golden one will be behind it. So that's kind of like one of the first things you want to do, really, is like buy enough copies of this pet so you can get to the golden one. Then you have access to everything that you should get for the week. Toozy, Crimson Armor, Toozy's Little Sis, and Golden Toozy Little Sis is what you want to get. Maybe an Orb of Power if you're a lower level that still needs Zulgoth. Alright, let's do uh, some teams now. Red is what we got. Let's see, if I can make one really fast, I'll just do it. If I can't... So Red, you think about like, okay, Tower of Doom, Guild Wars, stuff like that. You can make your own team if you want to. Just use your Guild Wars team... Do whatever you would do for Tower of Doom. That's what you could do for red, for this event. It's just a red restriction. That's it. Just a color restriction. So not too, too hard. I could go out. I could literally go out here. Troops. I could go to my red Guild Wars. Right here. I could um, manage team. Copy. And I could go back to here. Just to show you a team real quick. I guess I'll do this. Uh, where's it at? Lunar Revel. Okay. And then highest level. And then... But you could just do this. Paste team. There's the code for you and everything. If you want to pause or take a screenshot. You can take a screenshot. Then you can use like Google whatever and copy paste. PS4 problems. But yeah, here we go. And I could probably change from Elementalist because uh, that's just a Guild Wars thing. So I'd probably change to, if I had to, probably Slayer. Do that Fireblade business. Let's go see how it works. But this would be one team. I'll try to I'll may also make a lower level team. This is definitely a team that would work, though. A Zulgoth team. This will take you all the way. And it's a Guild Wars team, so it doesn't lose, really. All right, we got green gems to purple. Do we have that at all? We do. Look at that. Extra turn with the brown there. All right, now we just want to get up, like, Angry Mob, really. So I'm going to go with Brown. 
brown and red and all that, you know? And what's cool about this team is it'll work. It'll work all the way through. Right now, you might want to use something a little bit faster. But this will definitely work all the way to the last day. Let's do one more battle with it, then we'll switch to a um, easier, lower level team. And yeah, like I said, you want to use something that will wipe quickly. Maybe Tesla, you got Ferocity, stuff that's red, Yaogwe, Queen Titania. Alright, green jumps to purple. We don't really got it this time, so we're just going to want to do brown and red. Get that angry mob. Green jumps to purple. Just keep taking brown. Probably don't have the right metals on right now. Kind of got that. Whatever. Whenever I want to just quickly show a team, the board wants to be annoying. And the angry mob doesn't want to get up, you know? Sometimes this game be annoying. There we go. Didn't even need the Zul'Goth. This will work, though. So let's make another team for people that don't have Zul'Goth. And this is my last battle of the day, so I gotta do it quick. Definitely Zul'Goth will work. And then for people that don't have Zul'Goth, definitely recommend Ferocity. If you have it. Triple Ferocity Rage Reaver. And if you don't have this, um, you could just use Mang, really. Mang with Titan, and then just back it up with stuff that makes Skulls or Mana Generates. Come on, dude. Rage Reaver, where are you at? What the heck? Oh, you can't use it. Never mind. You can't use it. But you could use something like Summer's Fury. You could use, um... I forgot it's a red, stupid weapon restriction. That's annoying. Anyway, you could also use, a. Uh, Dawnbringer, if you want. Um, you could use Mang. Let's just make a quick Mang team, I guess, then. If this is going to be annoying like this. Um, or whatever. Let's go back to troops. Base rarity. Let's make the longest video ever, y'all. Sounds like a lot of fun. What's epic and under... Epic and under red. Definitely Yaogwe, Queen Titania would work. Um, just looking through all of our options. Red, Fundingus, Gargoyles would work for sure. I don't know what weapon you would use, but you could use Gargoyles with Harpy Mage. That would work for a little while. If I don't see anything better, we might do that. Just for y'all low-level players. We got Marilith. Um... Just use your Guild Wars team for now. You know? That's what I would recommend. Lon May. Trick Nala. So you could definitely make some sort of Mang team. Mang and Trick Nala. Would be okay. We got Egg Thief. Just pointing out all the decent troops that are lower rarity. Um. Come on, dude. Could even do like a sunbird thing just for the early battles. Probably wouldn't take you very far though. There's a lot of red troops. Ferocity's there. Like, you could definitely figure something out with Ferocity. But I would say Gargoyle would be the way to go for red. Because, like, Secra. Secra's like not red and neither is Chalcedony. Because that would be. We almost, we're almost covering every color with those loopy, really loopy troops now. But I don't think red is covered yet. So you go Gargoyle, Gargoyle, Harpy Mage, then you got to find you a weapon. Which is kind of annoying. Because you can't use Stone Slicer, you can't use Mountain Crusher. What are you going to use? Probably would just... You could use Earth's Fury. That would give Gargoyle attack and then it would hit harder. And it would strip. But it's using the same exact colors. That's really annoying to me. Alright, what do we got here? We got Construct, Hall of Guardians, White Helm. And then nothing that's annoying. 
Um, red weapons. Maybe just... See, Mang and, and Earth's Fury are exactly the same colors. That's the only annoying part. There's, like, nothing else for weapons. So, slightly annoying here, but, um, you find something. Just use an explodey weapon. Honestly. So, we could look up, like, constructs. We could look up, uh, White Helm. Let's just do that. Let's see if there's anything. Fist of Heaven. Divine Allies. Too bad this thing's not divine. But it doesn't matter. You could just... Whatever. Or you could type in Construct, see if that comes up. Just showing you how I would make a team here. You might be able to copy-paste in a weapon. Sometimes they, uh... They're not very good at... Nah, you can't do anything. So whatever. You know, like Fist of Heaven. Here you go. Banner. Some sort of red banner. Maybe red-brown. Minus blue. Class, you'd want to do Geomancer at a 50% start. Your gargoyles. And there you go. Here is your low-level team. And this would definitely work day-to-day. -day. Maybe eventually you would put a gargoyle in first slot so you could uh, summon if you need it. If you start dying, if your hero starts dying, move it down one or two slots and put um, so your weapon can summon. It gives you, it will buy you a little more time, you know. There's the gargoyle. You shoot it on two, kills three things, and you just gotta find a cleanup. Just to heaven, skulls, bang. Let's do one more battle here. I've already wasted way too much time. Oh, we don't have a battle, so never mind. Do you know what I mean? Here, I will show you the team code. So some sort of gargoyle team would be great, or Don Bringer team with all yellow troops if you can. Um, ferocities with just any weapon. Fist of Heaven would work even. Um, yeah, that would be my low-level red teams. Um, and then if you're high level, use Zulgoth or Tesla. Uh, Yao Gui, Queen Titania, stuff like that. Anyway, let's go check out the campaign and get the heck out of here. Don't forget to keep getting your crowns for the um, Kingdom Pass. Give it the middle finger while you're in there, because that's why we're not having a vault event. Zalkari was never a pleasant place to pass through, but we finally emerged in Karakoth. Ferret told us, in his unique way, of an elder dragon god, so we set out in search of its disciples. All right, I already got this done. Sorcerer Hero. That's good for me because I'm leveling Sorcerer right now. Purple Recruit, super easy. We can do that. One, uh, two. Uh. Guess while we're in here, we might as well look at these. Sometimes they're decent. Anything in here? No. Anything in here? No. Anything in here? Trick Nala's okay, especially right now. Um, nope. Greed for your gold farming team. Cockatrice, that's about it. I'm going to craft a gem dragon egg on my next live stream Wednesday. Some moderator, please remind me. But yeah, so we did that. Collect it. You can see like the next thing behind it. Banner bearer, old gods, equip sorcerer class, equip this banner, go to a place with constructs, and go to town. What are we getting? Empress, you should already have. And then Elder Dragon. So if you get the campaign done today, you can then probably use the Elder Dragon in the world event. So that's definitely a tip that I can't show you, I can just tell you. 26 uh, purple, green, brown, Karakoth, Damon, Dragon. Deal damage to all enemies. Create nine cursed gems boosted by cursed enemies. So if you bought the uh, campaign pass, which I definitely recommend, you're going to have access to the Elder Dragon, which is probably one of the best troops you can use for the world event. Um, go check out my video. It'll get you by until then, because I don't have the Elder Dragon. And I still think my teams are good enough to, to be fine the whole week. But the Elder Dragon would be a decent troop for this world event right now, if you can hurry up and get it. Do your campaign today. Get the Elder Dragon. Then use it for your world event team. Um, and we're getting magic. Cool.
But yeah, that is it for today. Like, share, subscribe, consider joining. Helps a lot. Tell your guild about the channel. Comment below. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.